Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to be sharing with you today how I'm getting ready for an event. So I've got the polo on the weekend, which I'm going to do another video, a get ready with me video for that one. But right now I'm going to do like the pre-video for that video, like how I get ready for an event. So I'm just going to take you through my day today, like my vlog. So um, you guys are going to join me getting ready. So I might as well give you a little life update. Today I have been struggling to find a babysitter and I really struggle with this because, you know, having twins is awesome and I love having twins, but it's really difficult to find somebody who'll look after two little people at the same time. And it's, I think people think that it'd be fun <laughs> and it is, but it's also really stressful because Having two little people in your responsibility is a lot of stress and I don't know many people who could do that. Um, not to say that it can't be done, but it's more that like, it's hard to do because it's a lot of work. So I'm trying to find a babysitter today in two days time. It's not gonna be that easy, I don't think. So yeah, that's on my agenda today. I'm also going to be, I've got about 27,000 emails to reply to, um, a few campaigns to shoot as well. I've got a bit of social media stuff and content that I need to create as well as post on my account. So if you're not following me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, those links are down below. So you should do that. I'm trying to be a little more conversational on my Twitter account because I haven't really been lately. And um, I really want to connect with you guys and swap some stories with you and talk a little more about some topics and stuff. So follow me on there and let me know that you're listening on Twitter because I haven't used it for a while. I've got nearly 30,000 Twitter followers, so that's a lot. I'm really not talking to anyone on it. So I'm gonna try and get more on top of that. So firstly today, I'm going to go get my nails done because that is part of getting ready for my event on the weekend. I love getting my nails done because it's kind of like the one girly thing that I really do. I know that kind of sounds a little funny considering my last video was all about like my beauty routine, but you know, my beauty routine without talking on camera it only takes me like an hour usually to do. So it is pretty quick, I think, for a beauty routine and especially that I've always been pretty low maintenance with my beauty routine, but I guess now that I have kids, I'm a little time poor or very time poor. So I sort of have to work out what I am, what's most important to me in my beauty routine anyway. And if I only get a chance to do that once a week, I usually do it when the kids are asleep. So I don't really do that when they're awake, which means, you know, it's me time, I guess. So the kids are at daycare today, which is lovely. I love a daycare day because I get things done for me that I need to do like this, which I would normally have done as a normal pre-kid person, I guess. So the kids are in daycare today. I love these daycare days. I was gonna go and ride my horse in the morning, but um, my I don't like riding by myself because when my instructor's there, I just feel a bit safer. You know, I don't feel 100% confident in my horse. I also have a lot to lose if I do have a fall. I actually have fallen off my horse twice before. Once was, Two years ago, I fell off and I had a brain bleed. So it was, it's very scary falling off your horse and having a, an accident, especially when I don't remember of it, so any of it. So I had a brain bleed and full six weeks off horse riding, exercising, driving my car, anything. I don't wanna go and ride my horse by myself now because I don't trust myself that I will stay on and not hurt myself. Not that I don't have confidence to ride my horse, that's not the problem, but if I do fall off, I want someone to be there to call an ambulance for me. <laughs> so yes, I was gonna go ride my horse today, but I didn't end up doing that, which is fine. So instead, I'm going to go get ready. So today, my plan is to take you through what I do before I go to an event. So that will include, got a little brush there. So that will include getting my nails done, looking for some shoes to match my dress. So I'll show you my dress before we go. What else do I need to do? Oh, pick out shoes, organize a handbag and the jewelry. But aside from that, I'm pretty much good to go. So aside from not having a babysitter for the weekend yet, I also don't have some shoes, a handbag. Well, I have plenty of bags, but sort of just styling it from how I want, what I want to wear and just, you know, making sure that my outfit is together. My brows are a bit rogue. So what I'm gonna do tonight 
once I've done my nails and I've organized my outfit, tonight I'm gonna take you through what I do in terms of preparation to this little thing, my face. And then, you know, I have my own, <laughs> I mean, you know I have my own microdermabrasion machine, but I also, <laughs> I do all my own um, removal of hair. So I do all my own hair removal as well, which I don't know if that sounds a little sus, but I've got my own um, leg waxing kit and my own facial hair waxing kit as well. So I'll also take you through my routine on my face or what I would do to prep for a an event later on tonight as well, after I put the kids to bed because I need no makeup for that. And then I'm going to wax my eyebrows as well, tint my eyebrows, tint my eyelashes. And I do that all myself from home because I don't have time to go to a salon. And I just sort of feel like for me, I have better use of my time elsewhere. I always find it so fascinating when other people do their makeup. I love watching people do their makeup just because I feel like there's always new things that I can be learning and watching someone else do theirs. I'm like, ooh, how did you do that? What did you wear? Where did you get that product from? I don't know, I'm sure you guys do it too. Do you do that as well? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below that I'm not a loser by myself. No drama, no drama, yeah. No drama, no drama, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's taking me about 12 minutes, which I'm quite impressed by. Minutes to put on my makeup. Now I'm gonna get out the door and get my nails done. So just keeping it super casual today, I am wearing my denim jacket, Gucci bag, just a plain white t-shirt, and my jeans that I've mentioned a few times with my very nude or tan shoes. Definitely getting a manicure today as well. Also have my new Ray-Ban sunglasses and also my Tag Hoya Monaco watch. So pretty. So this is my dress. I tried it on last week in store and then bought it online. So I'll put a link to it down below. But I am so excited. I love Zimmerman. It's, I wore this dress to the polo last year. Not this dress, but the same brand last year. And I'm, just, I'm so in love with it. So it comes in two different pieces. There's the undergarment, which is just like a nude slip, I guess, nude slip. So at least you can wear like a nude bra underneath that, hold everything in. Uh, and then it, this is the dress itself. So it's just beautiful. The lace detail in it is just so fine. And so it's a really nice high neck. It's got buttons all the way down the front, which I love. It's got this really beautiful rope kind of belt with the little tassels and the wooden balls on the end of that. And then it goes, it's about mid thigh length. It's really pretty. So the whole thing is in this lace. The sleeves are bell sleeves and they're just, oh, I just love everything about this. So I couldn't stop saying nice things about it. And it has a zipper where you can, so it's nice and tight around your wrist. So you kind of need a second person to help you get in. It's a bit of a struggle by yourself, but it's a zipper up the back of the dress as well. So all the way down there. But I am just so in love with this. The fabric is just divine. And like a beautiful cinches in at the waist. Just love this. So I'm thinking maybe some tan boots and a tan bag. And perhaps maybe some rose gold, gold, silver jewelry. I'm kind of still tossing up in between that. But that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So this is what I'm wearing. Such a beautiful day here in the Gold Coast. And before I get my nails done, I have to make one essential important stop. Wait for this. Are you ready? Boost juice! I'll have a King William with extra chocolate, please, because everyone loves chocolate. But it's funny, I have like 120 boost juice points, which means every 10 points is a free drink. And every time I go, they're like, wow, you have so many points. And would you like to use your points? And I'm like, mm. no, that's fine. I'll save them until next time. <laughs> and I never spend them. Yeah, he sets my body in motion He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's All righty All righty, so I feel like right now, oh, there's a big patch of light there so I have had my nails done. It's like a, oh gosh, this light's terrible. 
It's like a, just a natural pink. And I got my toes like quite a dark brown. So I'm kind of hoping that that pays off and doesn't look really bad. But I don't know. I kind of like a darker color on my toes. But I don't want it to be too dark. Like I didn't want it to be black or pink or like really dark fuchsia pink. Yeah, I just got like this natural, not natural, brown, dark brown color. It's not as nice if I would have liked it. But I feel like every time I get like, every time I get my nails done on my toes, I feel like I never get a good enough, like the color is always wrong. I feel like there's so much stress when picking a nail color and it's like not, not a good time to be alive. So now I'm going to go find myself some shoes to wear. I think I'm just going to go with some nude kind of color boots or even some like lower heeled, flatter kind of westerny kind of boot vibe i don't know i would i would love to have like a natural nudie color but i'm just not sure about what's out there at the moment and because it's on grass all day i sort of need a thicker heel as well so i'm gonna keep that in mind yeah i'm still undecided about my hair and makeup i think i'm gonna go like a like a ponytail maybe like a really big curly buffy ponytail so all the rest of my hair is up and the jewelry that i'm gonna have will hopefully be on show so i hope that's my plan so cross your fingers otherwise i can only really wear a ring because the jewelry that i have for you know i'll have earrings obviously i can't wear a necklace and i can't really wear a watch or anything so I'll, or bracelets so i'll only really be able to wear a ring and earrings and a ring is really where i'm at so i don't have to think about too much which is good and i'm not sure whether to go gold or silver or rose gold or what the hell i'm doing so we'll see that's, that's kind of where i'm at at the moment uh, handbag I'm not quite sure I'm thinking a nude bag I always have my trusty Gucci Disco Soho which I love this bag and I, it's big enough to carry my camera in which I can appreciate but I'm not sure if I'm going to want to take my camera uh, I don't know so many options but we'll see but yeah so that's where I'm at so I'm just at the shops now I'm going to go try on a few shoes and see how we go okay so I'm having a little dilemma I think I'll wear the boots more. The boots don't have as big of a heel and they are quite comfortable but I also like these lace-up boots that are a little cooler I guess. I don't know they're a bit higher. It looks pretty terrible with jeans but I don't really have any option. This is them side by side. I'm kind of not sure. I've just been asking my friend, texting my girlfriend, Josie, asking her what she thinks I should do. And she thinks I should go with the boot. So yeah, I'm a bit stuck. I think I'm going to go with these ones because I like these. Better. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Okay, so this is the good bit. This is where I get ready for everything top to toe for tomorrow. Um, originally I do this two nights before because I like to have my tan done and to do any touch-ups, but last night got really hectic and I ended up having um, a meeting, so I needed to go and do that. But anyway, now I am slightly pressed for time, so this is gonna be like my super quick version of, but I've got all my products here. I use these two, these are the thousand hour for my lashes and my brows, and then I've got the Nair hair cream, which is the precision hair removal cream for your face. So this one's quite a good applicator, I'll show you. So it just comes straight out the top and you literally just paint it on. How embarrassing. Then I've also got my wax pot. I told you that I like to wax my own legs and my legs have been waxed a few days ago. So I'm not gonna include it in this video, but I would probably just shave maybe a two, two days before the event. And if I missed any patches, which is common, I would just shave my legs the day of. I just don't like to take too much fake tan on and I find that my legs, if, if I don't exfoliate them enough in the shower, the tan doesn't take quite as well. So I always try to have two days in between in case I need an extra layer of tan as well. So I'm gonna start with the thing that takes the longest and that will be the lashes and Let's talk, meet me at the avenue. I don't need nobody else but me. end up in and give me that kind of shape. Then I'll take the applicator and it just sort of depends on how good the paste is to get it into my eyebrows. That will make more sense if you do this yourself. If your beauty, if, if your beautician is doing this, you won't have any problems. Obviously it's everywhere and it looks ridiculous, but I like to make sure that all the colors in all of the hairs and whether that be around it or not, that's fine by me. And I sort of just like comb over so I get to this point where it's like, I can get rid of the chunky bits off the top 
See those chunky bits? And get rid of those. And then before the color sets into my face, I'll just go in and wet, wet the bot end of a cotton tip and I just take all that excess off. Sometimes this takes a little while to get right. And I really like to make sure that I get that shape right. And then if I need to, because I've probably wiped off just a little bit underneath here, I can go back in and color in there if I need to. Now to do the other and try and make it the same so that they kind of look the same. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so that's done. And now I'll do the, the same with black, but for my eyelashes. So if you're gonna do this with your own eyelashes, which obviously you're gonna do with your own, not somebody else's. But if you're gonna do this, I would just suggest being very careful because I just put it straight on the lash. I don't actually close my eyes. Risky. But I mean, I can do other things because I can't do my own eyelashes with my eyes closed. So I just figure out a way to get it done with them open. It's kind of like putting on mascara, but you just have to be really careful. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. I like to do it with the stick that comes in the pack and I literally just kind of plot it on like it is mascara. But as I'm doing it, you'll see that there's chunks in there and not a lot of it gets on my lashes. I'm not too concerned if it doesn't get right to the root of my lashes, right on the, my lash line. But I do want the tips because the tips when I don't wear makeup are the parts that end up getting sun bleached. I roll it off the end and I try and stick to the end of the lashes. I notice that this tends to get thicker and cluggier and um, it sort of dries. The solution dries after a while. So then you can go in a little bit deeper when the solution's not as wet. I never said I was good at this. This is just what I do, okay? If you want, if you want to do this, that's cool, that's great. But you know, if you're taking advice from me, make sure you take it with a grain of salt. And every so often I just go in and clean it up. So I guess you could say it just kind of looks like clunky mascara and it feels like clunky mascara. So now I go in with the hair removal cream. I use this because I have kind of sensitive skin. So when I've waxed either on my mustache or down my sideburns before, um, I haven't really got the greatest results. So I've come out in little pimples and redness. And so I find that the hair removal cream is actually much more beneficial for me and easier to do. And I could always take this in a, when I'm traveling as well, which is what I often did when I used to travel, which I don't anymore, but handy all the same. I have to say, I'm not actually very hairy around here. I feel much more feminine when I just don't have any hair whatsoever. So I just kind of get rid of all of it. All right, that's three out of the four things I do to all the hair on my face. Now my fourth bit is the waxing. Now I'm gonna link all these products below if I can find them online, but basically these you can pretty much buy from any kind of wholesale store for beauty products. I just use the Karen Lab pre-wax and the after cleanser, and I just spray a little bit on a cotton bud. I don't know, is this a cotton, cotton bud? Are you a cotton bud? I'm not sure. Cotton pad. Oh. And then I just put it as a prep everywhere that I'm gonna be waxing. Beautiful. And then I just start waxing. Hi, honey bunch. Hi, honey bunch. Are you on your way home? Yes. <gasps> That's so good. I can't wait to see yeah. you. Yeah, girl. Yeah, bud. Yes. How good I that you gave me a This whole process of being beautiful, just, I'm just stunning. Goodness gracious. It's just bad, isn't it? How much stuff women have to go through to think that they need to be looking beautiful or look a certain way to be beautiful. It's ridiculous. So now I'm gonna take some cotton pads. I've got two of them. I've wet them both. And then I'm just gonna take everything off my face. I know you wanna try, give me that space. I know you wanna find another reason. off my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and my sideburns, and my mustache. Uh, then I go in with my After Wax Skin Cleanser, the Karen Lab one. 
couple of squirts on the pad and then I just wipe it on. Turn the wax pot off, put these away also. And now I'm going to spray a little bit of this, which is the January Labs Skin Essentials Restoration Tonic Mist. This one is all natural, vegan, cruelty free, all the above. And uh, it's just a really nice hydration spray. Then I'm just going to go in lastly with a bit of biology. This is the BD, which is the face serum. Gonna say, I just need time right now. And I'm going to leave it like this for a few more hours. I've got to go out for dinner now. And then when I come back, I'll show you my nighttime tan routine. And I have to be very, very careful. I have white sheets, so I'm going to have to wear like all the long clothes to bed tonight. I hate wearing tan to bed. So I think once I put the kids to bed, I've got about a 20 minute window to get ready. So I might quickly tan then and then do the rest. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll give it a go. All right, so it's the morning after the night before and I've finished tanning for the day, hooray! I kind of hate that sticky tan feeling, so I've decided that I would try and do it in the day, which I never got done, so I did end up going to sleep in it and I hate sleeping in tan. It just makes me feel sticky and icky. So I used uh, the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Tanning. I just put it on with a mitt. You'll see my face is a little more tan now. So I've also used the Isle of Paradise tanning drops, which I mentioned in my last video. Then this morning, I've just put on my Eco Coco tan extender as well. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Um, looking forward to the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.